Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. If you remember, I just purchased an all new 2022 Tundra TRD Pro and I did a video on the day I picked it up and I'm still very excited because it's an amazing truck. It's perhaps the best truck I've owned ever and uh, it's been my daily user for a while now. But if you also remember, I talked about some interesting things that are happening in the Tundra, uh, particularly with my Tundra TRD Pro, because we discovered on the first day that there is a very uh, unique um, defect, something that I would not expect from Toyota, but of course, sometimes these things happen. And that is on this emblem, which is part of the Tundra TRD Pro's design, um, the TRD, the actual letter D, is flipped around. Well, maybe it's backward, maybe it's upside down, I don't know how you want to describe it, but it's misplaced and uh, it's very unusual, unexpected, but these things sometimes happen. So I'm going to talk about how this might have happened in terms of the manufacturing production side, because if you recall, I have automotive engineering and manufacturing experience, so I can explain to you from my own perspective how this might have happened. But what I wanted to explain for today is the fact that Toyota has been extremely, extremely customer oriented. They actually contacted me right away, next day in fact, after the video came out, and they were very accommodating in terms of trying to make this right. So Toyota Canada and the management have said they'll do whatever it takes to get this sorted out as quickly and as efficiently as possible. And sure enough, they shipped the part already to a dealership near my office, which is a Jim Patterson Toyota. Uh, I did buy the Tundra from Destination Toyota, both great dealership, uh, and I'm going to get this repaired. So I'm about to go to the dealership, drop it off, get them to swap this out for the proper one. I know many of you guys said, David, keep it the way it is, because just like a collector's coin, this is unique and perhaps it's worth something down the road. But, you know, for me to have it correctly done is probably important as well. So I am going to get this fixed. Unfortunately, I'm not able to keep this part. I do have to get this shipped out to Toyota Canada. So uh, this legendary upside down or reverse D uh, will be gone forever. So let me take you to a dealership where we can take a look at the new part with the correct D and then we'll get them to repair it. And afterward, I'm going to talk about some of the potential reasons why this might have happened. And it's all to do with this very interesting Japanese word, which is called pokayoke which means mistake proofing. And so why did Toyota not catch this mistake during the production? Well, those are some interesting things to talk about. Let's get right into it. Welcome back. So I'm now at the uh, dealership. This is Jim Patterson Toyota, one of the best dealers out there. And they have the part. This is the correct part. And so if you look carefully, uh, not only is the TRD done correctly here, but you can tell from by looking at the back how this part works. First of all, there is a 3M double-sided tape that is to seal this against the, uh, the hood. Uh, there is uh, these uh, plastic uh, pins or rivets. They will pop into the um, probably a predetermined or pre-drilled hole for placement. So this will make sure that the part goes in correctly. And then there's a screw here. So there's one screw to hold it in place. Uh, so I think what they'll do is um, they'll probably test fit the unit, then peel off the uh, stickers, stick it in, make sure that these stickers uh, are properly adhered to the panel. And then they will, these, these will pop in so you don't have to worry about location because these three, what we call the locator pins, will locate the parts properly onto the hood. Then this will stick out on the other side of the hood and they'll tighten it with, with a nut. Now, if you look very carefully in terms of uh, this TRD part here, you'll give you some idea what might have happened. And so you can tell these have holes. So there's uh, three or four holes for, he for each letter. And what they'll do at a supplier, this will be like a third or fourth tier supplier, not first or second tier supplier, because first or second tier supplier will be like engine suspension, headliners, seats, that kind of stuff. So this would be a third or fourth supplier, so smaller supplier. And what they would do is there's a, already a hole and they would place these parts in, maybe using a template of some kind. And on the other side is fused in. So when they fuse this, this is called a plastic uh, fusion or um, you know plastic riveting. And when the parts, when the lettering goes in, the, the other side will stick out a little bit and they'll use a machine to basically melt 
part of the uh, plastic so that it's secured properly. And so you can see if you look carefully, there is uh, what would have been a post that would have come out and it's fused in. And so it's secure. And so that means when they put this D in, when they placed the wrong D, flipped up upside down or reverse D, and then it went through a machine and then it would have basically riveted or melted part of this uh, post to secure the lettering. And I don't know how that they would have not noticed when they had the part in their hand and the part was being installed onto the hood of the Tundra, they should have noticed the D was not correct. But to be honest, this D is not a proper D. As you know, in the TRD, this D is almost like an O because this side and this side is almost the same shape and the rounded corners are not very obvious. So usually there'll be a cover here. They have some kind of plastic cover to prevent any kind of scratching of these lettering. So when they placed it, they probably couldn't see the D properly because TRD Pros are built in low volume. Some of the functions or some of the production process will be done by manual. Now, if you're curious, this piece here, the actual plastic injection part would come off a machine. There's no other way to make that. It's not done by hand. And then each of these lettering would also come off a machine that would also be done by uh, plastic injection molding. As you know, I'm a production engineer, a manufacturing engineer. I worked with the plastic injection molding a lot during the, my automotive years. So I know how this will work. Uh, so this will be coming out of machine. Each of these letters will come out of machine. And this piece here, which is separate from this, is also um, come out of machine. But the placing of the letter onto this secondary piece was probably done by hand. And when they were fusing the back here, I suppose they probably had the covering or protective film on it already. So if they ha somehow had this mixed up, no one would notice it until such time someone peeled this off and looked at it carefully. Now, having said all that, it's still a bit of a surprise because Toyota uh, really works with this principle called pokayoke, which means mistake proofing. It's not pronounced pokayoke, which a lot of people do. It's pronounced pokayoke. And they should have had pokayoke system to either catch the mistake or to make it very difficult to make this mistake. But once again, on a lower volume production like a TRD Pro, sometimes not all the system is in place and not all the process is done in such a fashion to catch these mistakes. So that's probably why it happened. Other than that, it's a pretty straightforward plastic piece. It's pretty solid. Um, I was surprised they were able to get me these parts quickly, but kudos to Toyota Canada and the management and the leadership there that uh, looked after me right away and basically air freighted the parts to this dealership for quick install working with a service manager here. I know they were very busy and booked up, but they took me in right away and this is getting installed. They're also going to fix the rear axle recoil at the same time, which is another issue, another surprise issue, I should say. But once again, in the first year of production, these things can happen. Long term, I still believe that um, Tundras and Toyotas in general is absolutely reliable. And I have 100% faith in the fact that this Tundra will last forever. Uh, almost forever. <laughs>
three and maybe the fourth pin is in the slightly off center of the corner i should say then if you flip it it will not fit into the slot and that would be the true mistake proofing idea that will prevent you from making a mistake because the part will physically not fit in so that would be my suggestion for toyota again as an automotive manufacturing engineer i'm almost certain that by now they are probably working with a supplier to do that exact same thing if you can move the location of the pin for each of the letters so that if you flip it or try to install it wrong way it just physically does not fit in then uh, then it's all good because um, whether it's done by human or not um, the mistake or defect is not possible and then you can finish off with a fusing of the plastic and the rest of the part can finish off so that's some of my ideas and my gift to Toyota for um, how to prevent this from happening in the future. But with all of their production experience and technique and perhaps the best engineering in the world, I'm sure they got all this figured out already. Anyway, let's, so let's get them to do the job and then let's take a look at it after the install. So here's my Tundra TRD Pro with the correct part installed. It's looking perfect. The D is in the right place. <laughs> and uh, looking great, TRD Pro. It's uh, looking fantastic now. And as I mentioned earlier, there is a 3M double-sided tape that goes along the edge here. So that makes the part fit very flush against the panel. And then there were a number of uh, locating pins that helps to locate these parts correctly on the hood. And then there's one tightening um, not in both that is also underneath this part to make sure that this doesn't come off loose so everything looks fine installed correctly uh, i guess i could have kept it the way it was a lot of you guys said why do you want to change it it's a one of a kind but you know i change my trucks and vehicles often so who knows the next buyer might not be happy to see a, a defect like that so it's probably good to have the correct uh, part and to have everything looking perfect so this all looks good it's now same as the other side uh, again trd pro excellent excellent uh, emblem and deco now uh, toyota uh, dealership and the management did a great job of taking care of this in a very fast uh, way and uh, they literally went overboard to make sure that everything was done correctly so that was extremely appreciated and this kind of a service and the level of speed is what i'm talking about when it comes to toyota being number one regardless of some issues that uh, might have uh, occurred and also i did get a uh, recall for the rear axle uh, tightening of the bolts done at the dealership so they have uh, done the correct torque i think it's 70 uh, pound on the rear uh, they said that it was a little bit loose but not loose enough to be of any concern it was uh, up to 60 pound but they were able to tighten it a little bit more and i think that makes sense because they raised uh, the torque rating from 60 to 70 is what i believe so it was all good on both sides um, and i'm still a bit surprised by that issue as well but like i said in the first year even the almighty toyota could make mistakes and there are a few things that uh, may go wrong but i think long term it's going to be absolutely fantastic i don't keep my vehicles for a very long time anyway but very happy with the tundra trd pro and it's going to continue to serve me well until such time that I can change it up to the Sequoia TRD Pro, which is what I'm hoping to do in the next six months or to a year or so. So very much looking forward to continuing my uh, relationship with the Tundra TRD Pro because it's like a friend to me now and uh, a lot more to tell you along the way. So thank you so much for watching my video. If you're able to give me a thumbs up, make some comments and subscribe, that would be truly appreciated. Until next time, I'm signing off for now. Thank you so much.